Hi, I'm Mary Jo Boyd here with another eBite from Attorney Computer Systems. Today's eBite is in tabs 3. I'm going to show you today how to add a statement comment. Statement comments can be used to add additional information to a fee entry that you may not necessarily want the client to see, but you want to show other staff or attorneys uh, some more information on that particular fee. So let me show you how to do that. So while I'm entering my fee, I'm going to go into a client. And just like I would add any other normal um, fee, I'm just going to put in an hour's time. Um, let's say that I just want to put in a statement comment. I want to just show some, some um, information that I just want someone else to see, but not necessarily the, necessarily the client. So if I right click and click statement comment and start typing my comment, you'll see that it starts coming in here as red. That makes a um, comment that is only seen on the draft statements, the WIP report, or a transaction file list that will not be seen on a final statement. So I can type any information in here that I want. When I'm done making my comment, I can just again turn that off and then I can continue to type and you'll see that it is now in um, regular type, not red. Another way to do this is if I were to have just a, I'm going to pick a um, actual transaction code and type in some information. And so my, I might have my regular fee entry in here, but then I want to have it be um, an additional comment to show people. So I have in what the client is going to see, and then I have my test comment in here. Now if I just highlight this, and if I hit my Control H key, that turns that into a comment. And so now I've got my regular fee entry, what the client sees, and I also have in a statement comment. When I save that, it will then be down here, and if I get off of that particular one, I can see that I have a test comment in red, so I know I've got statement comments here. And then if I were to look at a transaction file list or a draft statement um, or any of those things, so let's just go out to a draft statement. So I'm going to go in here and just generate a draft statement, and we'll preview it. And you'll see that it will have that particular fee entry okay, down here a little ways. And then it is actually has it's got a strike through. So I can see here's what I have the outside comment with uh, conference with the client, and then I've got the test comment in there as a strike through. And then this will not show up, like I said, on the final statement. If you want to remove those comments, I'm just going to get into it from the drill down here. I can just highlight that, and I can just delete it right out of there, and it's gone. And again, this will show up on the transaction file list and on your WIP reports. I hope that eBite's been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact us either by phone or on our website. Thank you.